Hello, today we will talk about creating annotations for our application. Let's start right away. Let's go to front view and unfold the knife so we can see all the instruments that will need annotations. To create an annotation we need an object. Any object will do. The annotation will jump to the center of said object. I'd recommend using dummy objects for this purpose because they are not visible. And well, of course they have a center. Let's place our dummy object where we want to see the annotation. Now let's name it properly so we can later find it easily. I also often use suffix annotation, for example for a big knife the annotation will be called big knife annotation. Or to group the annotations by name, you can use it as prefix, so name them however you see fit. Alright, now let's use the same principle to create all others annotations. We will skip this part because it's just the same. Alright, when all objects for annotations are ready, we need to tie them to corresponding objects. To do it, let's open the group with animated objects that we made previously. And one by one, let's tie each dummy to corresponding object. And now, if I unfold the knife, all the annotations will move with corresponding instruments. That works great because we always need the annotation to be close to the object that it corresponds to. And what about rotation? Well, we don't care about rotation because annotations will always be rotated the right way. We only need the locations, the center. Alright, now let's export everything to the engine. Then let's go right away to the puzzles editor and here we will add annotations. But first, let's create another tab specifically for annotations and let's call it, well, annotations. And as we are naming tabs, let's call this tab main. These tabs are basically workspaces for puzzles. They help to organize your puzzle setup. Ok, back to annotations, we need the add annotation puzzle from the objects group. Let's look at it closer. So first we need to set the annotation name here. Next we need to set the target object for the annotation, the text for annotation. and annotation ID. Ok, so let's create the first annotation. Let's call it 1. Then here let's start writing annotations and our needed objects will pop up in the list. So the first object that we need will be can opener. Let's select can opener annotation and in the description let's also write can opener. As for ID, well let's call it N1. Let's start the logic and here we have the annotation, but it is inside of the knife and we can't press it yet. So to press it we need to unfold the knife first and then the annotation will be available. Now, when we press it, we can see the annotation description. Alright, and now using the same principle, let's create annotations for all the animated objects. Ok, all the annotations are set up, let's press run, and here they are, all the annotations. After we save it and open in the main application, we will see them there as well. Let's unfold the knife and now we can click all the annotations and read 
all the descriptions. It works nice already, but it will be better if we add one more thing – hide and unhide all annotations. For that, we need again when clicked puzzle. It will be waiting for a click on the annotations button. Then we need to go to HTML group of puzzles, because annotations are HTML elements. Here we need the puzzle set style for element. Let's put it here. Then we will need the text block to where we will copy the annotations ID. We need that to kinda target them later when we need to hide or show them. Also we need another text block which will help us to change the display parameter. In this case we need to set it to none. Let's test it, so run the puzzles, press this button, and here we go, one annotation was hidden. Now let's create a list with all 11 annotations that we have, so we can start the logic for the whole list and not set it all one by one. Alright, the list is ready, the logic is set, let's run the code, save it, and test in the application. Click and the annotations are hidden, everything works. Ok, now let's do the same, but to show all the annotations back. For that we need a variable, let's call it annotation visible. Then let's set logic condition for it to true. And now we need another logical puzzle if. Let's set it up like that, so we are checking for this variable to be true or not. So if annotation visible is true or the annotations are visible, then by the press of the button we need to hide annotations. And if it is false or the annotations are hidden, we need to show them. For that let's copy everything and change none to black, which basically means to show the annotations back. And also by the press of this button we need to change the variable condition from true to false and vice versa. So the logic will work as planned. Ok, let's save it and reload the application. And here we go, all the annotations are being hidden or being shown by the click of the button. And of course everything will work if we unfold the knife. Alright, that's all, see you in the next tutorial.